classical liberalism stands on these self-evident truths that all people are created equal in our right to life, that our right to liberty is not subject to arbitrary restrictions, that we can acquire property rights only through voluntary means, that rights are meaningless and virtue is impossible without free choices, that our natural rights are unalienable and thus not determined by majority rule, that the government is a dangerous tool to be used solely for protecting our rights, that any government exceeding its proper specifically delegated functions is tyrannical, that the free market is the most progressive arrangement for economic human interactions, that any forced redistribution of wealth is unconstitutional and breeds poverty and immorality, that personal liberty and our constitutional republic are only compatible with private enterprise. The six pillars of classical liberalism are unalienable rights, personal responsibility, moral absolutes, the rule of law, free enterprise, and earned success. Classical liberals support the right of private owners to determine the rules on their property, unbiased enforcement of voluntary contracts, equal treatment under the law, the right to free speech in all public spaces, the right of all consumers to free choices, freedom to work without political obstacles, and applying the Constitution as it was written. They oppose individual and political acts of aggression, equalizing outcomes, speech codes, identity politics, government monopolies, mandatory unionization, and diversity quotas. Classical liberalism rejects socialism and cronyism as obstacles to human flourishing and promotes capitalism as the wellspring of human progress. What is the classical liberal concept of human rights? Their source, nature, and implications. God is the source of our rights. They are not privileges granted by government acts. There are no group rights. All human beings are endowed by their creator with the same individual rights. The law cannot create or take away rights. It either defends or violates them. All rights are negative. We have the right not to be harmed, murdered, enslaved, or robbed. There are no positive rights to receive free goods and services. The only proper laws are also negative. Thou shalt not. The right of a citizen to bear arms in defense of himself and his property is absolute. A law cannot be passed to infringe upon or impair the right to bear arms, because it is above the law and independent of the legislative power. Any government exceeding its rights enforcement duties is illegitimate and must be reformed or replaced. Any negative law that violates rights and all positive laws are a perversion of justice and must be resisted and abolished.